I'm just going to go ahead and let this sink in for a moment or two, uh, this menu screen and what this game is and everything about it. And the fact that it's on Steam and the fact that it's coming from the publishing company that brought you Hotline Miami, uh, Gods Will Be Watching, it's, you know, here we have Had a Full Boyfriend. Uh, it is a pigeon dating simulator. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of it. Uh, it kind of made its rounds about a year ago. It got really popular. Um, it was like a free to download game and Devolver either picked it up or always kind of had this idea in mind. Uh, but yeah, this is like an absurd game and it just came out today, September 4th, uh, for $9.99 and it's kind of meant to be a piece of comedy, I'm pretty sure, uh, but it's super goofy and we're going to go ahead and start a new game and I'm kind of stuck in Los Angeles for two weeks and I needed something easy to record and record a lot of, so I guess this is going to be it. Welcome to St. Pigeon Nations. Please enter your name. And I'm just going to enter my, well... I'm going to actually enter my real name, even though the canon name would be a little more interesting. I'm going to have a hard enough time pronouncing names as it is. Um, I'll go ahead and put my actual first and last name. But yeah, I needed something to record while I'm out here, and I only have my laptop, so I needed to play a game that's not too difficult to record. Uh, so I figured this would be really, really easy to record a lot of. Uh, yes, Jake Goldberg is a great name, at least in my opinion. Headful Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module allowed, uh, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits? Uh, you know what? I'm not going to. Even like I think this is a new feature in this version. I'm not going to put the human portraits because I like to imagine that these are just pigeons and nothing else. So, um, But I played a little bit with the portraits and it's just like these really extreme looking anime characters. But I just think... The visualization of the pigeon is funny enough as it is. St. Pigeon Nations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say, this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports all come to St. Pigeon Nations. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diverse blend of birds and of different backgrounds and species. I don't know what just happened to the background. I'm often asked why I chose to come here, despite not being a bird. It's a long story. You know what? I think I just realized why it does that. Eh, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Oh, <gasps> Ryota. Ryota? God, I'm so bad at pronouncing Japanese names. Usually you'd have been ready for an hour by now, Jake. Overslept. <laughs> so Ryuta Kawara. So normally there would be like a, a, a human portrait here as well. This rock dove is named Kawara Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. He could be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. <laughs> Breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. <laughs> I love the fucking photorealistic pictures of the pigeons. Oh, the bell already? Come on, we need to hurry to class. Cheapers, no good being late on the first day. And so Ryota pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. Uh, but I'm like a big fan of like Persona 4 and 3. Out of a boyfriend, the most splendid and greatest academy of pigeon, by the pigeon and for the pigeon. First term. I love the photos they use, like just like, Google search pigeons and these are like the first ones that come up. Mm. <coughs> oh God. <coughs> I started laughing when I took a drink of water, I'm sorry. I think we're in two, three. Ryota and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces. A strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Jesus. Oh, the teacher's here. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Nanaki Kazu Kazuaki. Kazuaki? God, I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics. And also some other things. Zzz. 
Sir, wake up! It's home room! He sleeps with his eyes open? Oh my god, I love the portraits. This quail is Nanaki Kazuyaki. He's a famously, uh, oh god, saporific? Saporific? Saporific. Math professor. I had heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show great minds come in all forms. Sure. Ah, I'm sorry. Isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shirogani. Whoa. What is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I am here because I wish to be. <laughs> oh, well, I guess that's that. Hey, 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 that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll alter it into kulaks and dissenters. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shirogani? <clears throat> Shirogani Labelle Sakuya. I know I'm botching every pronunciation here. Look at this bird! <laughs> it seems this fantail is Shirogani Sakuya. His feathers would make en uh, any birdie proud. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Yeah, man, transferring's hard. Sakuya so sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. I don't even know. Lunch already? Today is slipping by so quickly. That reminds me, I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Okay. Where is everyone? Shouldn't it be every bird? Whatever. Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie in here. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Ooh, what a beautiful bird. Or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something from me? Oh. Oh. <laughs> he looked away. Not really. I need to do voices for everyone. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk, as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? <laughs> he silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood. I'm Goldberg Jake, a sophomore. What about you? Uh, you you're... <laughs> Nageki? Nageki? Yeah, Nageki. Nageki Fujishiro. Nageki. Freshman. Jesus. That wasn't so difficult, was it? <laughs> I just can't get over how silly this is. Fujishiro Nagaki, huh? Maybe it's just because he's a morning dove, but he seems a little sad. I agree. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... You should have uh, been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakuya. What kind of thing is that to say to your own brother? After all these years... My brother, you must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please don't try to talk to me again. I have no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait just a... Oh, snap. I guess even if we're in the same school, now what's to be done? Or what's done is done. Jesus. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' man, this is, uh, Sakazaki, Sakazaki, Yuya, is Sakazaki. Yua's brother. <laughs> I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey! Hmm? You heard the whole thing, right? Are you a friend of Sakuya's? I I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. Oh? Haha, <laughs> no sweat. I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but that. Wait, I'm a lady? Oh dear god. But that there wasn't too cool. I'm a, I'm a girl bird. I didn't know that. This fantail pigeon is Suzuki. Oh my god. Sakazaki Yuya. 
upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout the school. Everybody knows of him. All right, I need to fix this really quick. Uh, I need to go like offline on Steam because it keeps... Okay, it, it kept notifying. Every time I got a notification, for whatever reason, it would mess up the screen. I don't know if that's a bug with the game or just Steam being weird. You're Jake, right? How did you... I know every birdie here. Besides, you're the only human. A single poppy in a field of rye. Did you say you were friends with uh, a friend of Sakuya's? Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I never have thought uh, that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe. He is an aristocrat, actually. The genuine article, in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, mon ami. I do. What a douche. He really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about Yuya before. Er, though. Probably a twisty business. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? Sir, where's Ryota? He said he was going to the infirmary. Infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Yeah, do it. Excuse me? No birdies here. There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's no birdie here. Ryota? No reply. The infirmary's empty. Weird. Did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. Oh, God. Ethipar, ethylpar, oh, ethylpar, trif, luciobenzene. What do these even do? Care to find out? Wah, d -d 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 doctor I'll feed you all sorts of things, if you want. Hmm? No, thank you. Dear God, it's a big bird. This partridge is Iwam... Oh, God. Iwamin? Iwamin Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person, and has a bad reputation among the student body. Everybody knows that even just talking to him can bring you down with the... Uh, Asparagus? Oh, God. Psittacosis, or even worse things. And I never even heard of uh, heard him come in the door. Ninja Doctor? You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryota Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come find me before, you go, uh, before going home? S sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. That doctor's creepy. Ah, finally out of the den of evil. Ryota's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh, I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school, and it's always funny watching the birds hop around. I, I imagine that is pretty funny. I think their club room is on the ground floor, off to the side. A white dove is having a tantrum outside. Coo coo! This is no putting for a man. Or pudding? What? Coo! Okosan rejects it. It is a lie, a vicious falsification. He's dancing around a, squ uh, a squished pudding? Hey, that's not very nice to the pudding. Yeah, totally. Okosan. This is Okosan. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a fantail pigeon, I think. Either way, he's hyper. Sure. Koo! Also, uh, Okosan has suffered a deception, most vile, a rich, a wretched betrayal. Betrayal? Koo! Okosan instructed that pudding be provided for new members. Koo! But this is no pudding. Ousted, scorned, betrayed, dragged into the street, and shot by those he trusted most. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like a normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Koo! Koo! Spare the jest, young lady. 
Okosan used wing attack. It's super effective. Coo! They'll rue the day they cross Okosan. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn. He will. Coo! Okosan must now train to achieve true pudding. Farewell. What the fuck? And he's gone. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? I would also like to know. And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeon Nations. It's an interesting day. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode. You know, day one seems like a good time to end it. And I'm going to try to make these videos a bit shorter since I need to make them last for like two weeks. Uh, but I'll probably record some other stuff as well. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy this series. It's going to be kind of weird. I apologize for my inability to read at times, but... It's kind of hard to focus on how silly this is. Uh, be sure to comment below any thoughts you have for the game. Like I said, it's available now for $9.99 on Steam. It is a super weird game that you guys should all totally try and check out. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. I'm Red Panda Gamer. Be sure to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel so you're always up, uh, updated on new videos. See you next time, guys. So long.